Hair springs to the attention on the back of my neck. At the touch of our fingers, there's a shock followed by a sharp snapping sound. You know the kind of shock you get from dragging sock, dragging sock covered feet across a carpeted floor? Yes, that's it. Really. I almost expect smoke to come from our smoldering point of contact. As a thousand red bulls stampede through my body's most important muscle, a strong gale sweeps my feet from beneath me. You stare into my pupils, and I feel an ocean move inside of me. Waves crashing, tide moving in quickly. Birds flapping their wings insistently, waiting to break free. Yes, I can feel your energy. And the next one is untitled still. It's been only six months since death stroked my face offered me a glimpse of the period that summed up my life sentence. It was all so sudden, so close that I felt the coolness touch my veins. And all I could think at the time was how would I be remembered? No flash before my eyes, no white light. But I was outside of myself, looking down at my limp body. And that didn't worry me as much as the brave face that my husband wore to mask his truth. I needed to know, I needed an answer. How will I be remembered? Well, I will tell you what I would have liked to hear. I was honest and kind. I love to laugh even if at myself. I love to sing and dance at home. I've been a barber, a teacher, a student, a poet, an athlete, a musician, a sailor, and a tailor. And a part of me died on the operating table. But the rest of me was too young to go. The best of me has more to accomplish. I have memories to make, masterpieces to create. But when I die, I hope that I'm remembered for my words and the actions that match them. Thank you. This is called, We Will Never Forget. We will never forget. That's the slogan that is attached to that day. But that's bullshit. The only time we collectively remember that day is on or near the anniversary, or whenever people want to pretend to be patriotic, thinking that putting a flag up outside of your house means that you give a damn about the troops. People are so quick to say, oh, I know someone in the service. I'm so proud. But what they're really saying is better them than me. And someone actually said to me, hey, this isn't my war. This isn't your war. What the hell do you think we're fighting for? We patrol our shores and our land seven days a week, 365 days of the year, always on duty even when we're off, giving up some of our freedoms so that you can have the freedom to stand here and talk this shit. You don't have to be in the military to fight. People died so that you could vote, but you choose not to. You're too busy to register, worried more about the weather, taking from the economy and putting nothing back, and then all of a sudden some terrorists attack. And so for a few months, people set hatred aside and worked side by side. We all got some American pride. But then the dust settles on our soil. And again, racism arises. And only this time, blacks and whites are mostly on the same side, taking away people's First Amendment rights, ignoring their cries, all the while still pretending to be patriotic. But wait, what happened to we will never forget? Well, we forgot. And the last time you went to New York, it wasn't to visit the memorials. You shopped. I drove down the street on that day, and some of the flags weren't even flown at half-mast. How about representing some of the soldiers who've passed? We fight for freedom of speech, freedom of religion, democracy, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And if those things were missing, tell me, where would you be? Would you remember then? We will never forget shouldn't be a slogan. It should be a lifestyle. We should live like we care and respect our freedom and honor those who are no longer here. And don't ever tell me that this isn't your war when you enjoy those same freedoms that we are fighting for. I am a United States sailor. I, va I value honor, courage, and commitment. I swore to support and defend the Constitution against all threats, both foreign and domestic. And that also means against you. Because despite the fact that I'm not there right now, that's what I'll continue to do. Being patriotic is more than just waving the flag. It's enjoying and respecting the freedoms that some people never had. It's respecting each other 
and it's living the American dream because like it or not, we are all on the same team. It's us against them. It's not the other way around. Or did you forget what it was like to see those buildings fall to the ground? Did you forget those were children on the plane that flew into the Pentagon? Did you forget those were civilian planes that any of us could have easily been on? This is your war. It doesn't matter if you're against it. You're still participating. The troops come from us. The money comes from us. This is our national debt, and that's about as real as it gets. September 11, 2001, a day we should never forget.